Hi guys, I'm on a bit of a stabilization kick lately. I just did a video testing the GH5 stabilization and it is fantastic. But then I was thinking, I also own the Sony a7 III and uh, everybody always craps on this stabilization. Ah, just don't use it, it's shaky footage. Their stabilization is not worth anything. So I just figured, yeah, I guess they're right. And then I tested it and I tell you what, it's not as bad as I thought. And that sounds pretty bad. Not as bad as I thought. It's actually pretty good. And I'll just show you some tests. Here you go. Here's the first test. Oh, and I should also say, even though I'm trying to keep the camera as still as I can, I am just walking back and forth pretty quickly. I'm not even really doing that ninja walk that everyone talks about. I'm kind of just walking just to see, you know, in uh, fairly tough conditions, how the cameras would do. So that was just a bit of a baseline test right there. And as you can see, uh, the a7 III, if it has no stabilization applied at all, it's a very shaky footage. But if you look down at the uh, bottom right corner where you have the lens stabilization plus the body stabilization, it's actually pretty smooth. It's pretty usable. I, I liked it. So then I thought, uh, let's uh, turn the camera around. We'll do a bit of a vlog test, you know, and uh, have them a pretty face in there. And then I'll also compare it to uh, the GH5. I'll throw that in, huh? because everyone loves the GH5 stabilization. Let's see how that works. Now you can see from that footage right there that the GH5 is definitely more stable, but the a7 III holds its own pretty well as long as you have that lens stabilization to go along with the body stabilization. So that being said, I'll blow up the two best, the GH5, the dual IS, and the a7 III with its two stabilizations. I'll put them side by side in a bigger frame so you can uh, see them a little bit more clearly. Here we go. So there you go, just a quick and dirty video about how the a7 III is actually nowhere near as bad as people are making it out to be. The stabilization is pretty usable as long as you're careful and you take your time. And I tell you what, like with the new fancy cameras coming out, the R6s and the a7S III's, you can get a pretty good deal on the a7 III and uh, you don't have to be afraid to take it off the tripod. Just make sure you have a stabilized lens and uh, you're good to go. Oh, and also the GH5 deals on that thing too. Man, oh man, good time to get good cameras. I love you, A7 III. You too, GH5. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya!